Cool. So those loadouts we're talking about, uh, I actually wasn't able to catch them. Were you able to catch them? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right off the bat, we have bubbles on both sides, which is always good. Bubbles mm -hmm. going out over the zone caps it almost instantly. Mm -hmm. Right, and we'll see at least before you take the quick lead here, getting to the 93 point cap. And now they're really just, oh my goodness. What just happened in the corner there? We just saw Euphoria pretty much, uh, well, Shimmer turned tail, uh, essentially, and getting trapped in that corner there. Now Noob, the player you were talking about, really is kind of towards the inflatable here, maybe struggling a little bit as Shimmer here is looking to get back into the thick of things. But it's looking pretty difficult for them right now. And the problem with this map is once your opponent... Uh... We... Get really... I actually died and lost you for a second, Sarah, there, so I didn't hear you, unfortunately. But, uh, it looks like, while you were saying that, you uh, it looks like Shimmer is able to take control of the zone here. That Dynamo able to get a good bit of spray on top of the zone and elsewhere. So now, uh, Ball is in Euphoria's court now. They're... How did that... How did that happen? <laughs> how is this happening? This is peak humpback. Uh, essentially, the back and forth of it all. We see the penalties stacked right on top of each other, but it seems like Euphoria is going to be able to take the quick lead here. Uh, and now they have uh, two specials at the ready as well, Inkstorm to boot with it. So, you know, with the bubbles and Inkstorm coming out, it feels like I have a tough time seeing how Shimmer is going to be able to get back into the zone before uh, the penalty expires. And uh, for now, yeah, it's basically Euphoria here on the left side of things. They are going to be able to get rid of uh, at least the one player that was able to contest it. We do see Andres here towards the left side of our screen here. Does have an open-ended view. Defy, on the other hand, is going to get taken out by Euphoria in a 1v3, unfortunately. Splashdown goes out. Doesn't have to really take care of too many people. And now Euphoria getting back into the zone, but it might be too little too late. Baller does go out, but it doesn't have the support it needs. And we, I think, are looking at Euphoria taking this one in a knockout. So yeah, uh, basically, just able to take that one relatively swiftly. Um, I would say that I I don't really think that was too heavy-headed, honestly. I think just generally them having those specials conveniently ready, of course, when they were able to take care of zone and just stack special after special. Really leading them to win a nice solid fight, but I think definitely Shimmer can get back into the thick of things. So, yeah, game one. Um, yeah, and uh, for now we'll be transitioning over to Tower Control on the Reef. Uh, this should be, well, uh, hopefully not as much of a, of a win. I definitely see, you know... Some uh, shimmer of hope here. Uh, correct, yeah. Uh, just to uh, fill you guys in, this is a play all five kind of uh, tournament. So uh, regardless of the kind of results we're seeing here, this will give teams a space to really just fl uh, practice these map mode combinations out regardless of the result. Uh, and I think, yeah, just, uh, you know, even if it is a 5-0, you're still given the room and opportunity to play play these teams and get that experience. Uh, hey. hello. Hi, Vesper. How are you doing? How, how goes it? Doing all right. Throat's kind of sore, but other than that, we're, we're hanging in there. <laughs> I'm going to be filling in for, for Lily while they're kind of dead. It's cool. Yeah. Lily, I hope you, I hope you're alive. Maybe, uh, come back soon, but yeah, we'll have, uh, Let's get back into it here, uh, and I believe just having our players just kind of get ready and get the, their equipment suited for the upcoming map mode combination, which is Tower Control and the Reef. Uh, now, I'm not too sure. I actually haven't played Tower Control since the since the rework here. Uh, Vesper, do you think it's... I, I, I remember Tower Control especially being hated here before. Is this something yeah, that feels um, a little bit more approachable now? It's definitely better. And while pretty much every change to the map was a very good change, they also made the map longer and they made your spawn further away, mm -hmm. which means Stingray is better. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's a problem. <laughs> because we didn't really need that to happen. Uh, that We could have just gone on our lives without, you know, Stingray getting more uh, better and better. But here we are. When they uh, 
when Nogami was at the EU Championships, like bringing us all the new content and stuff that's going to be coming in 4.3, I was like really hoping he would just say like, oh, by the way, we took Stingray out of the game. Right. Yeah. <laughs> also, by the way, Lily's back and alive. Lily, welcome back. Uh, it looks like I am back, thankfully. <laughs> I, you were hoping they would take out Stingray, really? I can't imagine yeah. why. <laughs> we're at the first checkpoint, and it looks like Euphoria is uh, able to take a little bit of a lead here once again. Looking to see, I believe, the Inkjet off to the left side here. See, Defy uh, kind of being that kind of shimmer of hope here for... Well, okay, I didn't, didn't... Okay, that time I didn't mean the pun, but they unfortunately <laughs> going down that time. Seeing Ray, as we were just talking about it, is going to go up, but I don't know if this is going to be able to help too much. We still have Euphoria on the tower. Unfortunately, with only one player left, that doesn't look too good for them to stop tower when he's going in the wrong direction. And that's going to be it. Yeah, Euphoria able to take the quick one there. Uh, and yeah, it really just feels like... Before I just, or sorry, Shimmer just really trying to find their footing. I, I don't think they're really able to find the team fights as much as they're wanting to, and oftentimes getting picked off one by one. So, hopefully, able to change that up a little bit. Uh, Once you get those offset spawn timers, it gets really hard to get your tempo back. Mm -hmm. Right, right, and and you know, even just like being able to hop. Something as simple as just being able to change into the next map mode is, is something that oftentimes is able to fix that. Uh, and I would like to think that, um, you know, a splat zones, it's something that they are able to find better footing on, but we'll see. I mean, splat zones is the mode that most people practice the most, so mm -hmm. here's right. here's to hoping. Here's to here's to that. Here's a chips to hoi chewy to that. <laughs> uh, actually, have to. I can't really join in on that, but I'll take a drink of my lemonade to that. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Why don't I have milk? That would be a much better uh, combination here. Dang. Okay. Well, thanks Can for I the... drink your milk? Yeah, I got, got like remember. Good, strong bones? I haven't... Got milk isn't like a thing anymore, right? Like, we... Like, that was a thing. You remember Got Milk, that like advertising yeah. campaign for literally just milk? Is it not anymore? I don't think so. Like, I don't... I haven't heard of like a Got Milk commercial in a while. Um, to be fair, I don't have cable, so... Uh, right. I guess that's the bit, right? And that's <laughs> that's probably what people our age are doing more more now and now, is just the whole, uh... Yeah, we don't watch TV. <laughs> we oh, we wa do watch TV. We just don't watch it on TV. Yeah, we just, we watch the Twitch streams, <laughs> we watch Netflix, uh... I guess I don't really watch Netflix, but I watch Twitch, Twitch streams, so I guess that's that. Yeah. I don't... I mean, I do watch Netflix. Netflix in Canada is pretty sparse, but it's still good enough. Right. Oh, yeah, they came out... Uh, they actually... they recently, I don't know if you heard recently about the uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion announcement. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been really looking forward to just, like... I don't know. I've never watched it before. And I've always had the excuse of just, oh, well, it's not really immediately available to me, so I guess I'll just not. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, now I have no excuse. Do you want, do you want my solid recommendation? Uh, it depends on what your solid recommendation is. <laughs> watch the movies, don't watch the series. The series is garbage. No! Wait, I thought there was, like... I thought... I thought, like, the series is the good one and the movies weren't. Okay, that's good to know. It uh, depends on who you ask. The series literally doesn't have an ending. That's pretty dope. I, I I kind of dig those, like, movies that either have bad endings or no endings in, a, in like, the artistic sense of it. Well, the, the thing is, is they tried to give it an ending, but they ran out of money. So the last episode is literally just, like, characters still frame on a black background and clapping. Oh, the congratulations the scene! Yeah, yeah that's I, Okay, cool. That's, that's yeah. the last episode. Because <laughs> they ran out of money. Watch the movies, please. I, I'll try. Either way, we're into this one. Euphoria on top of zones. They're at the 60-point marker. Defy with the inkjet here. Does get the... Ooh, the inkjet v. inkjet splat. That was pretty important i think right now that gives uh, shimmer an opportunity to move in here especially since that inkjet snipe took out their back line mm -hmm. they definitely needed that if they wanted to hold mid right but as soon as we said that uh <laughs> of we, course. we see the the yellow inks the suction bombs cats yell here on the left trying to get some splat to win the 1v1 on new but unfortunately isn't able to do so that's going to be Euphoria taking the lead once again here, and a sea of yellow ink once again, and this should be Euphoria taking this one 3-0, like that, and back to the drawing board. But that will secure the, the win here for 
Euphoria who are able to take the at least a set. Again, this is play all five games, so Shimmer still has the room to you know, no no real pressure at this point, and again, really just practicing their strengths. Unfortunately, Andres and Defy were the only ones to be able to get a splat on the board. Anything in particular you're noticing here that might benefit uh, benefit the likes of Shimmer here, Lily? Well, I mean, that last match, I didn't really see much in the way of specials that would help them retake zone. Having their backline on an inkjet, while good for aggression, isn't really great if you can't get your footing. Mm -hmm. So you would suggest more so looking at maybe reevaluating their weapon choices then and... Absolutely. And, yeah, Getting some right. specials that work a little bit closer together and can help them push back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll have to keep that a note then. And I actually haven't been tracking the game-to-game -game weapon changes or if that has been happening. Uh, and if it is comfort picks that they are landing on and kind of more or less sitting on, then, then I think that kind of speaks to, you know, obviously maybe they're just probably more comfortable with that then. Uh, and they're just really <laughs> trying to practice their uh, composition in particular, maybe. I don't know. It could be. I didn't see the ballpoint last match. We, I think we saw Katsiel on heavy at that point for the Stingray on tower control. Mm, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll have to see if it comes back. I mean, obviously it's Rainmaker now, but still, uh, we could see that coming back. Andres and Friend are still deciding from the Euphoria, sorry, Shimmer side of what exactly they want to roll out here. So we'll see that in just a second. Uh, and a reminder, of course, that, you know, uh, we're approaching December and December holidays. Uh, if you guys aren't in the know, we'll be having Don't Park in the Grass in a little over two weeks. It'll be a LAN happening in Seattle. So we'll probably shill it more throughout the duration of the broadcast, but we'll want to keep that in mind. Uh, and uh, yeah, stay tuned uh, for more there. And in terms of how pools are going and what that's looking like, uh, we have... Two other matches happening right now, uh, and it looks like uh, Elevate versus Blue Troops is a 3-0, and From Hiatus versus Riptide Royals. Uh, they're still looking to update those scores, but either way, getting back into it, Sturgeon Shipyard on Rainmaker coming on up. We're seeing Katio back on that heavy, which is a good, strong pick for Rainmaker especially. Right. Yeah, we saw her in that 1v1 towards the end, right? Unfortunately not winning that one, but let's see if she's able to bring it back. Cool. So we do see Euphoria in the blue and Shimmer in the green. Noob here and uh, Dash here off to the right side, winning, I believe, the 2v2. Noob is the sole remaining survivor out of that one. Friend on the top of our screen will go down to the 1v1 versus Toast, which will more or less open the remainder of this. Nice direct coming in onto Defy. Oh, that shot from Toast. Wow. <laughs> that satisfying sound of a pachink. And the satisfying sound of a nice, crisp uh, <laughs> knockout. Yeah, it's honestly feeling a little bit late right now. Like, Shimmer, they're not quite pairing up like they need to be, so they're running into 2v1 situations, and, and I mean, obviously that is a really hard matchup to win. Mm -hmm, right. So, uh, we'll see that. Ooh, who was it that popped off? I actually saw the six kills and I didn't see their name. Who was it that popped off there? Was oh, I missed that too. Oh, was it Toast? <laughs> oh, Toast. Okay, cool. Good to know, because I'm, I'm just trying to, kind of trying to just like, build up, like, yeah, my understanding of where <laughs> these, team, uh, these players are, and it's cool to just get that glimpse on them, so. Yo, are you guys hyped for Snapper Canal on Snapper, Snapper Canal? You know, <laughs> you know, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> the uh, chips are white, Chewy. The chip, the, that, you know, that's actually the mode we're playing. Is a chip? I don't know if just you just change it to chips ahoy, Chewy. I right don't now. know if you actually Please. caught that patch update, but Nintendo decided to. Uh, Product placement. Look, look at <laughs> look really look at their uh, their. Uh, <laughs> Their branding deal with with Nabisco, uh, and and <laughs> decide to reevaluate the uh, the opportunities they could have for marketing. And yeah, it looks like uh, splats images just from here on out. Chips Ahoy Chips. This game's next level. Hey, Nintendo's out here securing the sponsorships. I can't, I can't, I can't fault them for it. I I welcome it all. This is the new mode that Nogami teased. <laughs> wasn't there? Wasn't there like yeah? What is it about the new mode I've been hearing about recently? He he just said that they're working on new game modes. Or at least that's what the translator said. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't else. I don't see any new game modes coming out. But they, the translator said specifically new game modes. Someone else said that um, listening into what Nogami actually said, he was talking about how they were working on 
new game modes previously, so it oh, okay. could just be that um, in the past, while well, they were working on, say, Clan Blitz, but... Yeah, yeah, I really I don't we'll see any new, any new game modes coming out. Like, we yeah. know there's there's two of them that were, like, being worked on but not finished, but, like, I don't see them actually coming out at this point in time. Not this late in the game. That would be, honestly, just, like, how do I even play this game at this point? Like, <laughs> like how do you even, like... Try and pr it's so hard to just like try improving yourself when there's that many modes. Like, that's just a little nuts in my opinion. But uh, we're starting the match here. It's Euphoria in the purple and Shimmer in the green. Defy here, uh, doing what I like to call the tango, and uh, un does get the hit marker, but unfortunately, it's not going to result in the splat. So, ink armors do go out. But what exactly do we need to see here, Lily, from Defy, from the rest of Shimmer, as they have a great position here, but they aren't able to. They're unable to immediately uh, push in here. What might be needed? We're definitely seeing a lot of them go down way too quickly. We're seeing them a lot of a lot of them scatter a little bit too much, and mm. we're seeing their back lines get really frontline aggressive, <laughs> which is not really something you like to see. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it got them the penalty. Like, <laughs> yeah, Defy did sneak in and get a cheeky cap there. Unfortunately, mid jump did run into that splat bomb, but I mean, it's a splat nonetheless. Was able to get the zone and does stack the penalty, so that's valuable. And we'll have to see if Defy can keep that up. But unfortunately, as soon as we say that, it does go down. And now Shimmer just really looking for any crumbs here left remaining to pick up on and follow that trail to the middle of the zone. Seriously, here. look, <laughs> look. We agree that this mode is called Chips Ahoy Chewy. I don't see what's wrong here. We are seeing Shimmer crumble a little bit here under the pressure. Yeah, it, it does seem like that, unfortunately. And we do see that they are able to at least like play to their strings here with the environment to some degree. And I feel like they are getting more splats this game. And this time around, Defy is on the right side. Might be able to force a loss of control. No, unfortunately, movement there is not going to be the quickest. If Defy had had just a little bit more time, they yeah. definitely could have had that, another <laughs> cap and then forced another penalty. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I believe that is going to be it, and that is going to be the 5-0 coming here for Euphoria, so hats off to them. They're going to be able to take this one and bring it on home with the clean sweep. That is, whoa, they reached 10 kills, and I, I again, I missed it just barely who it was, but a person on the Euphoria side was able to get 10, count it 10, splats there. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up probably to either Noob or Toast, who have yeah. been showing that they're really good competent <laughs> frontliners. Yeah, for real. Cool.